Let's look at an interesting interface that monitors mostly digital data, but some analog. It's called the Digital Monitoring Interface, and it monitors eight channels of digital data, and it has some LED displays for two channels of analog data. So let's take a look at it now. And we'll let it load. So what we notice here on the right hand side is at the top we have a text box that's labeled binary data. And right now it's set at zero because there's nothing coming in. And then we have a set of eight vertical LEDs. They're labeled bit zero through bit seven. And those correspond to the indicators over here on the left side of our plot in kind of a pinkish color, bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, bit 3, and so forth. Let's come over here to the control area, click on the rocker switch, and now we see our digital and analog data being plotted. I've taken the liberty to only plot channel 0 and channel 1 for the analog data. Channel 0 is the black plot, channel 1 is the red plot. And above them we have our 8 bits of digital data being plotted. And our digital data is uh, just repeating binary data going from 0 to 255 and then back to 0 again. What we see on the right hand side with the LEDs are those LEDs indicating the particular channels that they're attached to. And we can also see that the values in our text boxes here, bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, and so forth, uh, reflect the same values on the left-hand side of the screen. Now there is a way to change this to suit whatever digital data you are plotting. Right now we're plotting, as, as I said, repeating binary data. You may be plotting something else completely different. So we can change these names or designations to something else. Let's call it, in this case, channel 0. And another one, channel 1. And we'll leave the other ones alone. So to really affect the plot area, what we want to do is come down here to our Update Traces button. And as the indication says above it, change names above, then update. OK, we've changed the names. Now we'll click the Update. And as we can see here, our first two plots have uh, been changed to Channel 0 and Channel 1. And the other ones remain Bit 2 through Bit 7. Coming down to the analog area, our maximum values for the analog 1 and analog 0 are just a bit too high, so let's change those to something more appropriate, like 200 for each. OK, now that means that each LED segment is worth 20. And since our plots are only going uh, between 0 and about 200, then these indicators are set to a much more appropriate value. The rest of the plot area, including the menu area, is quite standard. And you've learned about that in the standard interface video. So this is a good way to plot digital data and have it indicated as uh, flashing LEDs. And you can certainly find some application for this in your, in your digital plotting. So we just wanted to make you familiar with this interface and its capabilities, and I'm sure you'll find it useful for your digital plotting activities.